The Perseverance rover on Mars is powered by an extraordinary piece of technology, a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, or RTG. This device uses about 5 kilograms, or 11 pounds, of plutonium dioxide to generate electricity through a process called the Seebeck effect. When it was first launched, Perseverance's RTG produced around 110 watts of electricity. Over time, this output declines slightly each year as the plutonium decays. RTGs are a reliable power source for distant space missions. However, the radioactive material they use, plutonium-238, is highly toxic and unsuitable for everyday applications. That's where a different kind of nuclear battery comes in. Betavoltaic batteries, like the ones recently developed by the Chinese company Betavolt, use a safer and entirely different process. Instead of relying on heat from radioactive decay, they harness beta emission, electrons released as certain isotopes decay. Thin layers of a radioactive isotope are sandwiched between semiconductor layers. This captures these electrons and converts them into electricity. Betavoltaic batteries aren't new. Back in the 1970s, early heart pacemakers used them, powered by the radioactive isotope promethium. However, these were eventually replaced by cheaper lithium batteries. Today's Betavolt batteries are more advanced. They use nickel-63 sandwiched between layers of diamond semiconductors. While their power output is modest, just 100 microwatts compared to 2.4 watts for an AA battery, they have a massive advantage in longevity. An AA battery might last an hour under heavy use. However, a Betavolt battery can deliver a useful voltage for up to 50 years. This is thanks to Nickel 63's long half-life of 101 years, making it an excellent choice for long-term applications. Safety is another advantage. Electron emission from these batteries is far less harmful than alpha particles or gamma rays. It can be easily blocked by the battery casing or even clothing. For harm to occur, the battery would need to be broken open and ingested. Over time, the radioactive nickel simply decays into stable, non-radioactive copper. While these batteries may not replace traditional ones in all applications, their potential in specialized fields, like medical implants or deep space exploration, is revolutionary. Nuclear-powered technologies, from Mars rovers to cutting-edge batteries, remind us of the incredible ways science is reshaping our future. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments what technology you're most excited about. Thanks for watching.